Hi, this is Rick Hansen on Being Glad, the 15th practice in my book, Just One Thing. You know, as our ancestors evolved, it was more important for them to notice bad news than good news because that usually had more impact on survival. And while that may have worked really well a million years ago, these days, it's kind of a bummer to constantly look around and zero in on what's negative and not really see everything that factually exists and is positive around us. Besides wearing down our well-being and our mental health in general, that's not good for physical health because it adds to our stresses, which wear on our health and thus our longevity. So, three suggestions for being glad. The first is, look for things that make you feel glad. Glad is a basic sense of feeling pleased with something. It doesn't need to be a million dollar moment. On the zero to ten scale of things that make you glad, it could be a point five, but that's good enough. Second, when you're feeling glad, sink into the feeling. Stay with it. Don't just skittle along to the next thing. That helps your brain wire that sense of gladness into it. And then third, share those feelings of gladness. That is appropriate with others because when we talk about them and share, maybe just one thing around the dinner table that we're glad about that day, that really deepens their neural traces. So, may you be glad.